हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स आर रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फिगर सो इन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द एट मीटर लॉन्ग केबल इज एंकर टू द ग्राउंड एट ए इफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू फोर मीटर एंड वाई इक्वल्स टू टू मीटर डिटरमाइन द कॉर्डिनेट जेड टू द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द अटैचमेंट अलॉन्ग द कॉलम so let's say that uh, we have a position vector which is acting from a to b so this is the position vector from a to b so let's say that is represented by rab so to find this rab vector cartesian vector what we need to do is that we need to write the coordinates of this point b and this point a from this origin right so as we can see that this point b is lying on the z axis so we only need to move the z meter distance in the positive z direction so the x and y coordinates of point b are zero similarly uh, this point a is lying in the xy plane so from the origin first we need to move x meters distance in the positive x direction and then we need to move y meters distance in the positive y direction and there is no need to travel in along the z axis so the z coordinate is zero so we can write that r a b vector so we need to subtract the coordinates of point, the corresponding coordinates of point a from b so we will write that zero minus x i zero minus x and then zero minus y so plus zero minus y j plus the z minus 0 k so z minus 0 k so if we simplify this then this will be minus x i minus y j plus z k now we can write this position vector directly right so uh, how to write that directly so if i write that r a b vector this is another method right so from this point a we need to reach that point b so to reach that point b we need to travel uh, minus x meters in the negative x direction so minus x i then we need to travel minus y right this minus y so this will be minus y j and then we need to travel plus z along the positive k direction so this will be plus z k so we will have that same position vector r e b so this is our position vector and in the problem statement it said that the 8 meter long cable so the length of the uh, cable is 8 meter so this means that the magnitude of the position vector from a to b is 8 meters right so we can write that the magnitude of r a b vector is given which is 8 meters and this is our position vector from a to b so we can write the magnitude of uh, this position vector like we can take the squares of all the components and then taking the square root so that will this will be equal to the magnitude of uh, this position vector r a b which is given which is 8 meters right so we can write that this is 8 and now if we take the square so then this square root will cancel out and this will become 8 square right so this will become x square we can simplify it this will become x square plus y square plus z square equal to 8 square now in the first problem we are given x equals to 4 y equals to 2 meters right so we need to find this z coordinate so z coordinate is equal to 8 square minus x square minus y square and now x is 4 and y is 2 so we can find it directly so this is 8 square minus 4 square minus 2 square so z square is 44 and then we need to take the square root of the answer so this gives us 6.633 so the z coordinate is 6.63 meters approximately so this is the answer for 290 problem now in the 291 problem it is said that the 8 meter long cable is anchored to the ground at a if z equals to 5 meter 
determine the location x y of point a choose a value such that x equals to y so now we have this same equation but now for the second problem the x x equals to y and z equals to 5 meters and we need to find this x and y so if i put this in this equation so we can write that x square plus uh, y square so instead of y square again i will write x since y equals to x so this will become x square 2 and plus z is 5 so this is 5 square equals to 8 square and if i bring this uh, 5 square to the other side so its sign will become negative so this will become minus 5 square this will become 2 x square so if i divide both side of the equation by 2 so this will be equal to x square so x square is 8 square minus 5 square divided by 2 so x square is 19.5 and if i take the square root of the answer so we will get that x coordinate so x coordinate is 4.42 approximately so now when x equals to y and z equals to 5 meters then x x x equals to 4.42 meters and similarly y equals to 4.42 meters so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood the solution of this simple problem kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problem from hibbler statics